Well, the pheasant opener in Illinois is in about a week. Brian Satori has been around for a long time. They've long been durable, well-made guns, and they've long been too heavy for upland hunting as far as I'm concerned, and they've had lackluster triggers. Satori 725 changes all that. This is a gun that uh, I'm happy with. The triggers are great. The balance is great. They fixed the problems with the double seal chokes, at least the modified and uh, improved modified chokes in the 12 gauge. So this gun patterns great, comes up great. And if you like an over and under for pheasant hunting, it's worthy of your consideration. I think I'll take a few roosters uh, with this shotgun this year because it's, it's really a fun gun. We'll see if it works. Cool. Cool. Two dead roosters right there. So that's a light crosser. Fun gun to shoot. Nice job on the recoil pad. You know, excellent gun. Cool. Cool. Not much of a problem. And there's a rooster cackling in the background in the wrong area. Two more, and I'll, I'll try something else. Cool. Cool. Just vaporizes those clays. And the Benelli M2, although it's not as pretty to look at as a Satori uh, by, by any means, it's a little bit lighter, about a half pound lighter, six pounds, and uh, it shoots about the same. It's a uh, nice recoil pad. It, it, the, the latest version of the, the Comfort Tech stock really works, so it takes the sting out of it. So even with three inch loads, for pheasant hunt, it's no problem. It's fun to carry. It's a fast handling gun with a 24 inch barrel. Partly compensates for the longer receiver that you get out of an inertia action. So this has really been a, a great pheasant gun for the last several years. Not much of a problem. When a gun fits, that's just about everything. The way it comes up, the way it fits, if it fits you, uh, that takes precedence over just about everything else except, of course, basic fundamental reliability. But uh, the Benelli is that, no question. Hard to beat it. Took a lot of roosters last year. It'll do the same this year. Great gun to carry. Practically shoot it with one hand. I'm volunteering to do the hard part, which is uh, sit in the chair and hit the button. Well, Weatherby's done a nice job with her, with those guns, particularly the, the 20 gauge and the 28 gauge. Pull. Pull. It ejected it, by the way. It sure did. Pull. <laughs> okay. You're shooting three inch magnums and clay pigeons. But that followed up. That was a one ounce load and then two uh, ounce and a quarter, three inch mags. Right. Th kicked them all out. Including, including the light load. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Broke all the clays. 
I can see you uh, moved you around a little bit with those three-inch shells, they and they're did. a lot louder too. Yep. That's all I want to shoot. Uh, it works. It works. You got to be all. satisfied. That's all I wanted to know. Looks like a charm. Sao is really a fun gun. The heavy piston's in, but here it's kicking out one ounce loads with no problem, as long as you have fast, 1200, 1220, 1220 feet per second, 12 ounce loads at least. This individual shotgun kicks them out just fine. And it's soft shooting. For doves, you can shoot one ounce loads all day. So we'll break a few, so, as long as you got some plays in there. But it's only about a six pound gun. I mean, there's just a good gun to carry. Nice recoil pad. Yep. Nice gun. Oh. 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 Nothing to it. Yep. <coughs> it's too bad my father uh, had to have this gun. Another good gun I got I got screwed out of for one reason no. or another. With one ounce loads, it's a soft shooter, even though it's a about a six pound gun. You know, that's nice. Okay. Oh. 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 Yeah. It hammers them. One left. One left? Uh, uh, two, <coughs> maybe two. Two left. Yeah. We'll finish them off then for you. Do what? We'll finish them off. Okay. Oh. Oh. Nothing to it. Yeah, it works like a charm. That's a nice gun. Yeah. I like that gun. You got a mod choke in there. That's all you need really for pheasant, certainly if you've got uh, good quality buffered ounce to quarter three inch loads. Do a, do a fabulous job on pheasants. Number fives anyway, out to 50, 55 yards, no problem.